And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. sunflowers and welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a day in my life vlog I just got up you guys could see I did some planning this morning at I like to start my day it kind of just gets it started on like the right beat um, I'm not gonna lie I woke up kind of slow this morning not feeling like super we're turning it around and we're having a good day so okay sorry you can hear my dog drinking water in the background but I'm just having these everything bagel rice cakes for breakfast. I'm having two. This is like one of my favorite foods right now. So tasty. And then I'm just having some water. I don't really want coffee. It sounds kind of like heavy with, I don't know, it's a warm day outside. I'm about to head to the pool. So I'm going to eat this. And then I'm going to meet my family to get some morning sun. Okay guys, so I finished eating breakfast and I just changed into my suit. I'm gonna head to the pool. We have like a little neighborhood pool and I'm gonna meet my mom, my sister, and my dad down there just to get like some morning sun, start the day on a happy note. But I wanna show you guys my swimsuit. My hair is just thrown up, ignore it, cause we're gonna be getting ready today. Cause I am filming um, like a sit down video, so I'm, that will be in a bit. But for now I'm just wearing it in this whack bun I did literally without a brush. And then I'm wearing this swimsuit from Zaffle. I'm obsessed, it's cheetah. It's super duper cute. The bottoms are just like super plain. I like to hike the sides up a little, just like that more flattering. Um, but it's super simple, like the back. I'm not gonna say like my, it's just like super straight. So I'm really into it. But yeah, so I'm gonna go grab a Celsius drink cause I'm gonna actually get my workout in right after the pool and then head down. I have my little drink. Let me put my sunglasses up real quick. And I'm gonna head down. The Celsius I'm drinking today is sparkling watermelon flavor. I also really like the orange flavor. The reason this is so good is it has tons of benefits for like pre-workout. So I'm just gonna be sipping on this whole time down there. And then as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna get back and do my Chloe Ting apricot of the day. And it will be perfect. So yes, let's walk on down. Guys, look how cute our kitty is asleep. She says hello. Don't go to the pool without me. <laughs> Wait, real quick. I didn't tell you guys. I just threw this cover up on. It's from Akira. It's like boho print. And it's just strapless and super easy to take on and off. So, I think this is super duper cute. Alright. Now for real. See you in a second. from the pool. I told you guys I was gonna get a workout in, but I think real quick I'm gonna go eat lunch because after just eating the light rice cakes, which has been my favorite breakfast, especially with it being warm out because it's super light, but once you get some sun, it's kind of like, you know, getting kind of hungry for the day. So I think we're gonna head to Tropical Smoothie Cafe. I'm gonna get a wrap, and then when we get back, I'll start my fitness grind of the day, try to get it in. Also, what I've been doing lately is just trying to, even if it's like a 10 minute workout is what it is most days for me, because like I told you guys in the last vlog, haven't been totally feeling it workout wise. If I just get 10 minutes and I feel so much better. So it's so much better than doing nothing. So definitely like, even if you're not like totally feeling like doing something today guys, just do like something for like 10 minutes, like a little video and you'll feel so much better. Even just go on a walk. So yeah, so I'm just gonna wear this since I already have the dress on that I showed you guys. And then I'm gonna put my shoes back on and I'm gonna go with my mom to get, I think I'm gonna get like a buffalo wrap. So I've been loving Tropical Smoothie Cafe lately. All right, we have arrived to pick up our lunch. All right, you guys, so I just got home. I picked up the lunches you guys saw. I just have some water and then I got a Santa Fe quesadilla with a side of sour cream. Update, I am back inside. I just threw on a t-shirt. TBD to be in a sorority. I still have so many of the t-shirts so I wear them around my house. Um, and then I just have some leggings on. I put these purple ones on, super duper cute. I'm gonna lay my yoga mat on. I'm gonna do it like right here on the floor. Set my little computer up. 
get my workout for the day. Also, guys, I just put this little hair cart together. I'm gonna show you guys real quick before I get into my workout. The actual carts from Ikea, but I think it's so cute. I have like all my little like hot tools on top. I tied all these hair scarves from Amazon on the side that I wear all the time, like all my bows and stuff. I, I love stuff like that for my hair. And then this little shelf, I put like my headbands. You can see I love pearls. I have all of my like stretchy headbands, hair products, clips. This has like butterfly clips, little ponies, all the things. I just feel so much more organized. And I have my makeup tray and scrunchies. I don't know. I just feel like this is perfect. I feel like I wasn't really getting like good use out of all of my headbands and stuff I have because they were all in that bucket, if you guys remember. And it's just like I didn't even like ever really dig through. So I feel like this looks super cute. And I put it like right by my little beauty desk area. Because I usually sit in this mirror to get ready for the day. And I think it's just perfect. So that was kind of a random tangent. But scooching this over so I can set up my little workout. Sorry, my dog's barking. Okay, so real quick, I just wanted to share that I've been really loving listening to podcasts instead of music just to mix up when I'm working out lately. And one of my current favorites is I Love You So Much by Kenzie Elizabeth. She is a YouTuber and she just has like, let me see like a list. Like, oh my gosh. She has like really informative podcasts, I feel like, and I really like it. So I'm going to be listening to one from literally a year ago because I just recently started listening to it. This one's like a, what they learned last summer, but might help me for this summer. So I'm going to listen to this, cue it up, and I'm going to do the Get Abs in Two Weeks Ab Workout Challenge. Just an 11 minute video, and then I have to shower and stuff because it is a filming day for me. Okay, so update, I finished my workout. I know my hair looks kind of crazy. It's just pinned back because I'm about to do my hair and makeup. But really quick, before I do my hair and makeup, I am uploading my video. It's Sunday when I'm filming this. Just going to show you guys. I literally love uploading so much. It literally is such a fun feeling, especially like reading comments. So if you guys comment, I always reply, especially if you comment like right after I post because I get so excited. So yes, the video is public. Got my Sunday video up. Perfect. Change is saved. And now I'm going to get ready for the day okay guys so i finished getting ready for the day i put like little butterfly clips in my necklaces this is princess polly these are shein dress is zaffle which is the little company i am working with in today's little sit down video that i'm filming which i just set up so i'll show y'all it's a little filming day for me so i laid out all the swimsuits it's a swimsuit haul i think it's already probably up when you guys are seeing this they're all super cute i'm doing a try on so i have this set up i'm gonna sit on my bed, I need to clean up that area a little bit so it's not in it because it's like a ton of laundry I need to do. But yeah, I'm gonna sit right here and show these. I do one of these every summer and it's so much fun. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys after I film this because this is like my big to do task for today because this try on is gonna take forever. Okay, guys, update. It doesn't seem for you guys like it's been forever, but it's literally like an hour or more probably for me. I finally finished with filming my swimsuit video. It literally takes forever to try that much stuff on. Like, the whole pile is here. I don't remember if I had showed you guys what I was wearing, but I'm wearing this Zaffle dress for the video. But now I'm going to go have a snack because your girl is tired. I need to charge my camera because I just filmed for like... 50 million years, but that was like my biggest, that's like a to-do I've been putting off because those videos take so long and it is done. All right, there are my slippers on. Ignore my terribly painted toenails. I need to do that tonight, but I'm ready to relax since I've been working all morning. So I'm about to have a snack and I'm going to have these, which I showed you guys in the last vlog. This is one of my favorite. This is really like better than salt and vinegar chips. Like I'm not the healthiest eater and I love these. So I'm gonna go have some of these in the backyard. I need to charge my camera while I do that, but I'm gonna sit up on the little patio and it's gonna be so nice. Hey guys, so it's been a bit. I had my little snack outside and now I wanted to go shopping because yesterday, I always talk about Hedate. It's like a thrift store where I live. Basically, this isn't sponsored or anything. It's just something that I did. But I took my clothes and sold them there. And when you sell your clothes, you can either get like 50% of the money for them in store credit or you can get 30% of like the price they're gonna do 
in like cash and so I was like well I'll just do 50% because it was $50 so I think I'm gonna go shop and then I don't know if I'm gonna get anything but if I am I'm not gonna have to pay for it because I have store credit but if not whatever I'll just, I can save my store credit it like doesn't expire which is awesome so I'm gonna go do that I also think I'm gonna stop at Dunkin on the way because I really want nice coffee right now to be honest I think I'm gonna like stay up late editing tonight and I kind of really want like a reading chill night at the same time something I'm gonna do yet so there's like a lot of things so basically I'm probably just gonna be up late because I want to like read but I also need to edit yeah we're gonna go to Duncan I'll see you guys there and I'll some country music have myself a time um could I have a medium french vanilla latte iced yes that's all okay thank you thank you you too Just what a girl needed, a midday pick-me-up. Hey guys, so I'm just sitting here. I'm gonna like enjoy my coffee for a second. So good, but I just wanted to quick talk about something that's really helping me with positivity lately. Um, two things. So when I saw this quote and I just thought it resonated with my past so much and like it helped me explain to myself now why I'm so happy. And that is to don't depend on other people for your happiness. I'm gonna like put the quote on the screen, but it was so good. It's not in a way that's like other people don't matter. I don't have, I have so many amazing people in my life right now that make my life so much happier and so much better. And people are such an important, my relationships, my life are such an important part of my life. But when you start expecting your happiness to come from other people, it sometimes can make you resent them because you'll be having a bad day. And I know if like in the past, I almost like push blame on other things like to other people in my life or uh, maybe why I wasn't like, I just let other people affect my mood so much or just I was having a bad day and would push blame on things that it wasn't even their fault. But when you tell yourself and you tell others around you like, no, my happiness relies on me. I choose how my day is gonna go and nothing that happens can dictate my happiness or change my happiness. It makes your relationships in your life better actually because you stop resenting people for not making you happy because you only look to yourself for happiness and then all those relationships are just a happy, great side part of your life, but they're not what you're relying on every day to dictate what your mood's gonna be for that day. Another thing that's been helping me with positivity a lot lately is the first thing you should think in the morning is like today is gonna be a great day. I've heard that it's really helpful for people to write it down. I think I'm gonna start trying to do that. But when you tell yourself that first thing instead of like, oh, I'm so tired, I don't want to get up, you're automatically going to be in a better mood for the day because you're telling yourself, you're setting the tone, like you have to choose that that day is going to be a good day because instead of letting the day choose for you, you know, you're in charge of your life, no one else is in charge of your life. So yeah, that was my little positivity rant of the day because I want y'all to feel sunshine that I've been feeling lately because I feel like life is just really good right now. I also have been like really good at kind of my blessings I feel like lately, which when you sit back and just think about how many things are good, like so many things that I've prayed for in the past are in my life right now and I'm so thankful for that. So practice gratitude also. Okay, my little tangent of the day is over. I'm gonna take a little Instagram story, of course, of my coffee and then I will pick the camera back up when we are out shopping. Your girl missed shopping vlogs so much and I'm so happy that I can bring it back to my daily vlogs because I don't know, it's just part of my life that is so fun for me. I literally don't even buy anything, I'll just go look and it just brings me joy. So, see you guys there. Dressing rooms here are so big and nice. They have these really cute lights. I have a few things I'm gonna try on and then I'm gonna look at accessories. So we'll see if I end up liking anything, but I'm just so thankful stores are open again because I love shopping. Okay, so I tried on this bodysuit. I think I'm gonna get it. It fits really nice. Sadly, I literally love these shorts, but they're just simply too big. So like, I always tuck my shirts in so that wouldn't really work. They're wild fox though, so it would've worked out really cute, but I think I am gonna get the bodysuit. Here's the leggings, I was fourth bronze, so I thought I would still show it to you, but they're Fabletics brand. These are on sale for only five. I don't really need leggings, but I do really like these, so I don't know, I might get them, because they are really cute and different. Okay, I just grabbed these high-waisted shorts, and I actually really like these. I might get them. They're really cute, and they're like loose fitting in the back, so yeah, only $6. Okay guys, so I just left Hot 8, and I seriously, 
got all this stuff for 80 cents because I used the store credit. I literally took like a bunch of stuff that doesn't fit me anymore or clothes that I literally had bought forever ago that never fit me and I've never worn. And I sold them and like I said, I did it for store credit. And so I got some new things and I literally paid 80 cents out of pocket, which is awesome. So this first thing is super duper random, but I've wanted to try something like it for forever, but just kind of wanted to spend the money. So it's a hairbrush straightener. These are supposed to save a lot of time because you just brush your hair with it instead of straightening. And I feel like when I straighten my hair, I kind of pull at my hair a lot. So I'm hoping that this improves that. Plus the packaging is so cute. It's pink. So let's actually open it since we're out of the store. Comes in this super cute little pouch. Oh yes, this is such a cute color. It's pink, which of course I love. And I'm really excited to test this. So I'll probably test this out in like an upcoming vlog. I'm just gonna set this back in here, but I'm super duper excited about that. And then I got the jean shorts y'all saw me try on. I think I showed you guys that. That are just like these really plain. I don't really have jean shorts that fit me besides the one pair I literally wear every time that I thrifted. So now I have these that fit and I like how distressed they are. I just wanted some like solid colored jeans and now I have some that actually fit. Then I got a bodysuit, which literally fits so nice. It's originally the brand is Forever 21, so like it wasn't super expensive if I would have got it not thrifted, but but I literally love it. It's I just want more just like plain things to pair with. Like I have so many funky skirts and I feel like just not plain stuff to wear with it. So it has like the bodysuit thing and it's actually tight because sometimes these are a little too loose on me. So this is gonna be perfect with like so many skirts this summer that like, I'm gonna get my wear out of that so hard. And then I got this ring. It literally just caught my eye at checkout. And I thought it was so cute. It's just sparkly. I have one of these in like rainbow, but I thought just a silver one could be cute because it matches my little everyday James Avery rings. Yo, I'm sweating so hard because I didn't want to put the AC on so you guys could hear it. But then I also got these earrings. I have small hoops that are silver, but I don't have any small ones that are gold and these are like coily. So I also picked up those and head home now, show my family what I got. Uh, I think I'm gonna have it till night. I was gonna edit, but honestly, I just wanna like read my book. Okay. I'm reading. Okay. I'm reading such a good book right now is what I was trying to say. I'm literally obsessed with it, so I'll have to show you guys that because definitely a really good like summer like by the pool where you get super chill but like deep enough that it keeps you invested. So yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff back in the bag and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hey guys, when I got back from shopping, I went on a little walk with my mom and my dad and my older sister. We've been just going on walks all the time. We kind of got into the routine in quarantine and now we've kind of stuck with it. It's just like a nice thing to do in the evening. But now we're going to head back down to the pool, which I was at this morning. So I'm going to bring my book. I just put this little swimsuit on. My room is like messy from filming today, but this little Zaffle. All my swimsuits are from Zaffle pretty much, but I love this print. This is really the print of the dress I was wearing today bringing this little bag down with me. This is the book I was talking about. I wanted to show you guys. It's called Feels Like Falling by Christy Harvey. I'm like halfway done with it. Super good. So I'm going to bring that down to enjoy like the sunset, read my book. You know, we love summer. So yes, it's going to be so relaxing. 